Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Deepest Chamber Resurrection. It is a roguelike deck-building dungeon crawler, more or less, that I checked out over a year ago. So it just got this massive overhaul that basically turned it into a completely different game called the Resurrection Patch. Over the course of that year, they've been tweaking and changing so many things that whatever you know, deepest chamber you remembered in the past is not really a thing anymore. It got kind of like mixed reviews due to a couple uh, key points that have apparently been completely ironed out and changed up, and the game is getting absolutely glowing reviews ever since this update has come out, so I'm very excited, and <laughs> very excited to check it out, because I thought the game had a lot of promise, but ultimately I fell into a similar camp with uh, some of the people who had some concerns. So... Without further ado, let's get in. Years ago, on a calm, still night, the people of Dolmen slept. Also, to be clear, I've reset my save progress. I don't remember anything about the game. We're going in basically fresh. We're basically treating it like a sequel just came out. A blinding light erupted from the tallest tower. Within moments, it surrounded the entire city. The glowing dome heated up stone and metal. With the flames came a suffocating smoke. The king decided to move the whole city underground. Years passed by, thousands perished, law and order long forgotten. To this day, the king and his royal guards desperately seek a solution. I'll break down the gate! Okay. With my trusty sword! Okay, so we have a couple characters here. We got a slash. More or less, I think we just... Do the smacking. My weapon, it's useless. Only a fully boost. Oh, wait. Only fully boosted cards can harm this. Permanent effect. Only fully boosted attack can harm the gate. We need to work together to boost one of our attacks. Readying my shield. Preparing my fireball. My holy shield is waiting. And my axe. A card can be boosted by playing cards neighboring it. Yeah, oh, okay. I will say already, this was just. I don't think this was a system in the past. To fully boost my fireball, first we need to use the cards next to it. Okay, so like... Boosts? So if I play a card next to this card, it gets a benefit to this card. And if I play two cards... So that's what these two little pips are. So if I give this, all my heroes gain a shield. Gotcha. Same thing here. Or single target gains a shield. So this got buffed up twice. Okay, this is already something I not only don't remember from this game, but I don't think I've ever really seen in a deck builder. I'm, okay. My fireball has been fully boosted by playing the cards around it. Deal 10 damage and 3 damage to adjacent enemies. Womp. The gate is tougher than I thought. Gate's got hands. We need to blast it again. Okay, so here's the issue. Gotcha. So, like, this almost turns, like, our hand into a puzzle. So, if we need to blast it again for 10, we have to play Defend. And I like that in this tutorial, they sort of, like, they're like, prove that you know what I just said. Because if you play Holy Shield first, you couldn't play this. But since this is adjacent to it now, we can... Bada bing, bada boom. And then this can do 10 damage. Onward into the Depths. Okay. Delve into the city, the depths beneath the city. So is that more or less like a... Um, here, this is a new mechanic to the game, like if you need to know. Uh, hello there, guy. It's been years since anyone's been willingly entered into this forsaken place. That's the one way of saying it. If you come with good intentions, I thank you. I'm the commander of the troops of Dolmen. We serve the king and the people of the city. Okay. You're right. All right. What's your deal? We do what we have to here. New arrivals. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dagger, the owner of this shop. I think we'll get on just right. Okay. I don't think I have any money, so I don't think you'll actually like me. I have to buy things with candles. So, like, we buy different, like, trinkets or something there, more or less. Alchemy. I'm going to assume that we just can't do anything here right now. Uh, so, let's give it a go. Embark. Select a difficulty by beating the current hardest. Sounds good. Choose a hero trinket. Dealing blimp damage. Also applies for corruption. 
Uh, so it would increase, basically, dealing that damage applies 4% damage increase uh, taken. Gotcha. Every time a card gets fully boosted, add one scale card into your hand. I don't know what that is. Every time the heroes apply a debuff, add a Scorch card into your hand. I will say, like, this is one of the only things that I, I, I can fully process right now. You know what? Sure. Let's do this to interact with the uh, this mechanic a lot. All right, so... Oh, my word. Ingward. Buy items in exchange for blood. Ooh. Always a fan of that. I'm trying to look at what path has the most variants. So this is a combat, an event, and a rest into Ingward and a trinket box. Like, there's a lot of, uh, of different variants here. Down we go. I was going to pause to adjust the audio, but it, we're in here. It intends to attack. Let me take the hit on my portrait. Click on my portrait and select the rat. Come on, puny creature. Do your worst. I don't know why they all have that accent. So we can choose who takes the hit? That's... That's nice. That's some Magic the Gathering stuff right there. All right. There we go. Hopefully, I, I turned the audio up a lot. Hopefully, I don't get absolutely blasted now. So you intend to attack here. So, okay. Oh, interesting. So, it tells you what the boosts are for this. Basically, if this gets boosted once, you gain an extra shield when playing it. If it gets boosted twice, it costs one less mana. So since I'm going to be taking eight damage, part of me wants to just... Bl well, I guess, what's the slash get bust? Uh, okay. So I'm going to do this. I mean, if I'm trying to block as much damage as possible, we would play this. We play this, this, this. So we could do... Gain shield. Oh, we got scale. Nailed. It is not discarded at the end of the turn. Okay, so scale is gain to specific block. Gotcha. Oh my god. And it also counts as a buff anyways. So that is boom. That buffs up everything else. We got scale again. We can buff it up and get another scale, theoretically? No? Does that have a limit? Warrior gains 25 rage. So this is like a, a warrior card. Every point of rage increases the, the that hero's damage by 1%. Gotcha. Very cool, though. Bring it on! Okay. Gain four. So you are intending to attack. I can, I can just choose to block here instead. Wait, did that cost an energy? Oh, okay. That, okay, this is a good way of doing it, because otherwise you could, like, really buff up. Like, we could do it. Theoretically. But I cast us. Oh, by dragging up. Okay, that's, that's a weird UI thing. I clicked and dragged up to try and take the hit. This is not me clicking slash. This is me, I left mouse click down right now I don't let go of it and I drag up and it just automatically played a card gotcha that's what happened so what did I even do block is kept between rounds but if attacked block will fade gotcha okay um I feel like we kind of want to upgrade slash again I don't really need to upgrade defend. But I do want it to be free, obviously. But unfortunately, because of the positioning of the cards, I can't play fireball into that. I played whatever was in the middle, which was probably what I would have wanted to do anyways. But this puts me in a spot where I can't get slash fully upgraded and play it on the same turn. Um, so... Yeah. Might as well make it free. All heroes get the boost. I gain enough shield for the rat's attack. 
Click on my portrait, select the rat. Yeah, you greedy son of a gun. I... They're already taking... What's wrong with them? Why can't they take the hit? Huh? Huh? That's a... This is... I really like this idea, though. Especially now knowing what's up. So you are attacking here. You're going to be attacking her again. And I can choose to just do this. So that's really... I like that a lot as far as a... Um, really focusing on juggling your characters. Uh, so this is boosted still. That's really good to know. So since we're taking all the damage now, it would be suboptimal to give you more shielding. Gain enough shield for the rats attack. Click on my portrait. I understand, like, all of you guys wanting to do it. I'm going to do it just so that maybe it doesn't pop up again. <laughs> um, plus three more damage. How much mana do we have? We have two. Like, I, I really like that system. Five gold. Choose a card. Next round, gain a mana. Put a card from your discard pile onto the top of your draw pile. You have to look at these. You have to look at the boosts as well. Oh, that's such a clever mechanic. That's such a clever mechanic. To, it gives you so many more axes of interaction. Oh, my God. Because, yeah, this costs one. If you play a card by it, then it costs zero. If you play two cards by it, next round you get two mana. So, like, that's really interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Gain four mana. Push one card all the way to the right. Guys, this is so fun. Oh, I love this idea. Yeah, this is... Like, I cannot stress how little this game has to do with the game that released a year ago as of right now. Oh, my God. Heroes gain one warm light whenever a priest card is played during the next two turns. I'm, I'm tempted between these two. Pushing a card to the right is really fun because it plays around with the mechanic that I think is really fresh and interesting. Choose a resource. Sewer goo, basic vessel. So this is like for meta stuff, I guess. Or what? Look at a bottle. I don't know. Right click on here to access their inventory. I mean, cool. Collect a candle. All right. As far as I know, there is at least one other um, hero class as well. And the game has kind of re-entered. It's sort of like re-entered early access, to be clear. Like, it's in early access again in this new form. It never left early access because it, like, just went through this overhaul. But it's starting again, and they're continuing development from this new, fresh uh, foundation. So, like, hopefully they would add more, even more heroes, because I could see that being a big deal. A great gold-feathered owl gently turns its head toward the party. It hoots calmly at the sight of the trinkets in your possession. Uh, do I have? Oh, my passive. No, I don't. I, I like my trinket. My trinket's the one that, like, whenever I fill up the, um, that meter... Okay, I want to go towards the the rest just to kind of see what we got here. Heal, upgrade a card. Can I do both? Obviously, I don't care about the other. Just do six damage. Is there a chance that these upgrade the... Uh, like, do I need to keep looking to see if it upgrades that or not? I don't know. Like, Slash, just do two more damage. I don't know. I mean, like, it's this is more relevant on this character since he gains a 25% damage buff. Like, we could maybe get uh, more upgrades in the future. I'm not sure. Fireball being upgraded is a little bit more appealing. Because getting that, like, two damage and one extra AoE... That's the most value out of any of the upgrade cards I saw. Let's go to Ingward, I suppose. Hello. Ah, new blood. Excuse me, I occasionally get carried away with thought. I'm a master alchemist of the academy, Ingward. Feel free to browse my shop. Pay no mind to my extremely long and claw-like arms. Browse my shop, but be prepared that I am only accepting blood as payment. Love it. Uh, 
So these, so we can get cards, apply poison, healing the heroes. Healing the heroes damage damages all enemies with uh, blank damage. This sh shouldn't have a comma, as far as I'm aware. Like, I... Th having the comma confused me. I think it's a trinket. Seems nice. I don't know if I have any healing. I have one heal, right? And it has exhaust. Gain four and draw a card, then push a card all the way to the right. Right, that's just better than the other thing, but we don't know how it upgrades. The hell, man? That's just a much better card. Well, this technically can give you seven total shielding versus six. But this would be seven shielding, or six shielding and two card draw versus seven shielding. This is just infinitely a better card. Uh, four damage, gain a flurry. One flurry. Flurry type cards will trigger an extra time. If unused, attacks a random alive enemy. That's kind of fun. I, I definitely want some. Steal the latest buff from the target. Do it. Sacrifice health. You know what? I'll take that too. Sure. Push potion. I'm sure that's one time use. And again, that just seems really good. Alright. Oh, we can remove a card. Sure, everybody take... Just everybody take damage. Why not? So we got uh, gain four. So that's not all heroes. It's just one hero. So I feel like holy shield is the worst thing we have then. Because... Gaining the ability to push the cards. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Can we do it again? Oh my god, we could. I feel like that's probably pushing it enough, right? Sorry, I have to keep adjusting the audio. I, I like... I preemptively bump everything down, but I'm not used to a game having properly balanced audio. That's a new... Well, I guess it's not a new indie game. It's an old indie game at this point. Dwellers needed to find ways to protect their possessions. A large wooden chest reinforced with a metal strap seemed like a good idea. But years in a damp environment took its toll. Increase the damage of Scorch cards by two, or at the combat start, gain an extra draw. Is Scorch card a specific... Oh, plus one Scorch card. It's a um, it's a type of card we could add. Uh, we could get it from buffing up our fireballs all the way. I'm going to go with this one. I, I feel like I don't want to stick my finger in too many pies, you know? Medicine box? I do want to get back to another combat, though. Choose a potion. Healing for six seems interesting. Intellect increases blank damage. Drag potions to use them on enemies or heroes. But yeah, I like that right now. Uh... Is this a different type of combat? I'll say there's an elite right here, so I, I'll go for the elite. All right, back to combat now. So this costs two. If I play two cards by it, then it will not. Plus two strength for the disease rats. So we definitely want to kill this one. Hmm. So what do I want to buff? I kind of want to buff this with... Oh, apply a regen. Each round heals for one. Okay. That could be nice. There's just a lot of extra areas to play around. All right. Let's go ahead. So we, if we play that, we buff that. Playing cards in the middle just feels more valuable. To regen. So that could go down. It's still a one cost after we do that. That's the thing. Uh, so who are you attacking? You're attacking here. Works for me. We'll push... Oh, hell yeah. We can push this card all the way to the right. And then we can play scale on you. Oh, it's beautiful. 
So now we want to play it in order to buff up uh, Fireball. So we'll go that. And then we will heal. I guess we'll heal you. You just have the lowest, technically. And then we go for scale. So do we, um, my big question. So we don't want to buff it, buff up you anymore. It makes no sense. Do we keep these cards in our hand? Or is there something where, like, they keep their buff? Because I could have sworn we drew a card. Yeah, we draw. They keep their boosts until you play them. That's a really big deal. Steal the latest buff. One boost gains nailed. Um, so you are going to be attacking him. So we do want to yank the attention of that. And then I guess we shield tactics you and move the fireball. Do you move fireball to the right? Well, I wanted a spell steal. We drew a card. Oh, that actually messed it up. Oh, drawing. Okay. Drawing cards could actually be a little bit janky in this. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I wanted to steal that buff for sure, but now I don't know. Now I really don't know. Gains nailed. Um, I mean, I kind of do want it. Oh, man. Then if you yank the buff, then we could go for the fireball, but it won't be buffed up all the way. If we buff it up all the way, we get a scorch card. God, this is really awkward. Like, I'm sure I'm fine either way, and I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to optimize it. And that's the thing that's really fun here. The thing that's really, really fun here is that finding that optimization is actually really tough. So, like, spell steal being, being in the way is a problem. We could have buffed up Slash all the way by, by just not doing that. So, we got eight damage coming in here. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that this Blight is going to be doing damage over time. The question is, can we block it with armor? Does suffer two damage. Damage increases every round. Oh. Okay, so we have the fireball. It's been buffed the hell up. Wait, so... When it gets buffed up, are you saying it, like... Stays completely buffed up? I don't really need to spell steal anymore. Slash. These are all now free. Corpse. Man, this is so different and interesting. Okay. Do I want to add a card? Deal 10 damage, draw a block card. I feel like having a thinner deck is, like, even more important. Well, unless... If we do only get the buff one time, like, when we... If we fill up the, the card's meter and then it stays filled, that is a really big difference than, like... If decks that have things like this... Or, uh, this... No, no, this... <laughs> Okay, it can only be done twice. But, like, th those kind of effects, you would really, really want to have a lot of cards to fill out those meters. On boost heals the booster's class for one. Gain shield... Gain one shield three times on boost. I actually like that, since we have the damage. The damage on heal. I should take another the same thing. All right, let's fight the elite. Let's do it. The old one. 10 damage and invulnerable. Uh, so we could do... If you're already attacking here, we might as well. God, the draw, though. The draw actually messed it up because I wanted to play mana shield. But we could do this. Spirit husk... Okay, so now this is free. All heroes get the boost. You gain two, it gets nailed, that's okay. The question is, I have two mana left, all right. So we do that, this gets a little tiny buff. We're taking all the damage we need, the question is, what else do we do here? I could like preemptively buff somebody up. 
invulnerable until attacked with a fully boosted card. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's clearly a big deal then. Shouldn't have. Select a card to push all the way to the right. Doesn't, I guess I want to do that one, because then I can buff up both of those at the same time. So hopefully, yeah, the fireball should maybe... Cannot be removed. Like, I can't steal that, right? Surely not. Surely not. Had to make sure. Had to make sure. So yeah, we need to buff these up all the way. Uh, uh, Man of Shield could work, I suppose. You're attacking here. We're going to want you to be attacking. It actually doesn't matter. Currently doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. Scale. We kind of want it even. Like, I wish we could just fully get that. I feel like eight's probably enough for us to say, like, th this is, it's kind of cool that we're like, you know what? We do want to spread out the damage because it only goes away after we get that hit. Um, fireball's fully boosted already. What's the full buff? Draw an extra card. Sure. So we definitely want to boost something. You're doing 10 damage here and 25 corruption. Every point of corruption increases damage taken. Gotcha. Uh, shouldn't matter. What do you want to push to the right? I hate the fireball being to the right. Man shield fireball. Good God. Just buff him up like crazy. All right, so we probably keep that 25, that cor corruption forever, which is like, yeah, so I have, now you have vulnerable. So I kind of want to take the hit with, with you over here because it's only going to do, yeah, it's only going to do 14. On boost, heal the booster class. Oh, I do want to boost it, but then... I'm just going to push that one to the right, because I actually don't really want it moved. Apply too weak. I have two mana. I do want to gain the rage really bad. So sure. Now that's buffed up for later too. Uh, we need to put so much block on you so that you can take a hit even though you're vulnerable. Or even though you're vulnerable. So that's for two more turns. So you're attacking in here and is going to give themselves invulnerable. So they, they have to, they don't have it yet. Heal for five. I mean, I do want to do that. I would enjoy that. You know what? Screw it. Let's just buff up slash here. Um, let's see. We'll do that. Because you have, you have corruption, and it seems permanent on you. So we'll want to... You're going to be applying vulnerable. So the thing is here, we want to we want to take the attention with you, because if it's just a vulnerable stack, we don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like, in that event, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so everything... I think everything is buffed up. Okay. 
Okay, you're even weakened. We got six block over here as long as we take the attention back over here. There's the potion. Yeah, I think that when you cast a fully boosted card, it goes back down. I think that that's just the thing. Until you cast it, it goes back up. It just keeps going up, which is great. I really like that. That That's a very smart way of handling it. Kind of want to buff Fireball, so we'll do this. Sure, and then we can go... Like, so you're going to be attacking over here. This also gives 25 corruption, which is bad over the course of time, but not that big of a deal over, like, right now. Uh, so yours is gone. Good deal. Deal three damage. Defend, it's free. Great. And then theoretically, all of... Yes, and then all of the defense are back down to zero. We have so many... Are these not exhausted? Those should be exhausted. And I feel like they are, for what it's worth. Put your card all the way to the right. You're going to be taking 19 damage. I do want to take the attention here. Down to 11. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. So scale is all the way on the right. I like this being on the side because then we can go for this. 11 damage. Don't really care. Uh... You're vulnerable and corrupted, so we definitely want to put the scale over here. We heal and do the one damage. So we can't... It doesn't count as boosting it. That makes sense. It doesn't count as boosting it uh, after we've already cast it there. Cool. Cool. Womp. Do we kill? No. Nope. Ten. Not quite. I just want to buff this son of a gun up. Like, I can't... If I buff... I do this, then defend is free. So I don't want to move slash then. So this is... Yeah, the this is interesting. The drawing is good, but it, it causes a little bit of goofiness. That you wouldn't expect. 13 and vulnerable. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to start smacking. Definitely want the block over there. Good deal. One card left. Let's get you ready. I mean, we can do it. Five damage. Who really cares? Well, I guess what what I care about is the uh, the full buff. Vulnerable, you go over there. So I actually, yeah, I can't do that this time. That's completely overkill on that. I need to buff up the fireball. Maybe if I would have, no, I couldn't mana shield the fireball first because then it'd be over there. It, w it just wouldn't matter. I need to attack them with a fully boosted attack. Otherwise, nothing matters here. The good news is we, we've got this for next time, but, like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Push that to the side. We might as well. We have a fully boosted card now. Just got to get to it. Smite. That'll work. There we go. That was actually a very interesting and strategic fight that had a very gentle, soft, and rage timer that really does remind me of, like tank and off tank trading in like uh you know mmo raids completed unlocked heavier and thicker than a regular horseshoe this item will grant access to the commander's secret equipment stash cool oh my god draw two cards you may discard two cards oh wait draw two you may discard two cards Ooh. 
you may discard is actually a really that's so good the option to do it or not do it depending on if you want with the, the mechanics in place in this game that's really strong that's almost just as strong as uh drawing the thing that this is this is quasi niche because it's like related to a mod in slay the spire but you probably people who played the mod downfall would probably say yeah uh this game feels like what if the whole game was centered and like went all the way in on Gunslinger's uh, dead shot, dead dead shot, dead eye, dead eye. It's either dead shot or dead eye or spot on. Whatever, one of those things. The Gunslinger in Slay the Spire Downfall. The mechanic that that I'm talking about, dead on, where you have to play cards when they're perfectly in the center of your hand to get an extra benefit, um, is kind of what that character has, and it's like that idea expanded into a really clever direction. Gain 12, other heroes gain 2, warrior gains 25 rage on boost. Select, drag slick cards with the... You can reposition this card. Okay, that's so cool. Repositioning a card. Imagine me getting excited about just moving a card. Every time a hero gains shield, the enemies targeting that hero will gain the same amount of corruption. I like that a lot. 10 damage to every enemy after 5 cards are drawn. Only cards that are drawn after the automatic new turn draws happen count. I draw a lot of cards. Do I draw five? It doesn't say five in a turn. It just says five cards. I, that happens That happens pretty often for me. Draw three cards. Well, hey, there's another way to get that. Give me some a brittle cap. Two candles. Dwellings are the sewers. When health gets below half, calls for aid. Calls midwives for aid. Excuse me? I kind of want to go for the... Oh, so it has also, like, certain types of resources. Let me go for another elite. I found the, I found the elite very compelling. Intense. 12 attack. 3 strength. Blight party. Inject. Curse card. Wait, does it tell me what all of your intents are going to be? Hmm. Is this... I think these are maybe the options for what they might do as an intended attack. Blight zone, every three rounds, suffer three damage. Is this just by... because of the passive of this character, or is that the, the zone? I don't know. On boost triggers when this card gets boosted. So, this has kind of like a purple symbol there, which I would think might mean that it's kind of like an infinite boost. And we can drag it around. And I can use it to... I can play it. Gotcha. So, I would like to buff up Slash. Healing is pretty expensive. Draw a card, move something all the way to the right. Do I want to move Slash to the right? I have the health. You're doing 12 here. Steal the latest buff. We're not going to really be able to do a full block unless we, um, unless we buff this sucker up. So I think we just have to buff the sucker up. I don't really want spell steal to be pinned, so I'm gonna put this over here. Okay. That could become free. Shield tactics could buff that up. So I think we'll do that. Shield tactics on you. Thank God. What do we wanna move? It's probably this. So, let's see. Scale buffs up mana shield. Kind of want to use heal now. And then we can use scale to make this free. Oh, God. Wait. This free. Defend. And then we move rage over here. And then we use scale again. Okay. So, yes, that was a, a lot of finagling. A lot of probably annoying braining but like look at that that we we got four stacks of rage out of that at the end we could have gotten more 
But the thing is, we also need to keep in mind that we should buff up our defensive cards there. I never played it for the 25 rage, but I got the 10. That's so neat. Three strength for self. It may just be going down the line, for all I know. Uh, you have no buff of your own. All right, I think we're pretty much set to just, like, start blasting. We need to buff somebody up for taking a hit next turn. So maybe we just get this ready for, like, the smackdown of the century. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, we're going to get that strength up, and then that when that thing comes crashing down, oh, baby. So, spell steal. Blight to the party. I could steal your strength. Pardon me wants to. I think we definitely... We, we obviously slash. Such an obvious one there. The question is if I do this yet. We get the extra Scorch card, which I, I like because then we can uh, we can work on getting Slash upgraded for later. Blight to the party. I mean, the Blight is really annoying. I should probably make sure I um, put shields on everybody just because I think that that does get blocked by... Blight gets blocked by shielding, which I'm not used to that. So this could steal that right now, even if I want it. Like, if I wanted that right now, I could take it. Um, buff everybody. Let's see. Buff one. Move. I think we want to move that to the end. Do I? How much damage can you do? 15. Actually, quite a bit. Select a card to push to the right. Sure. Uh, I feel like we'll be able to... Shoot! I feel like we'll be able to juggle. I have the other card. It's okay. It'll be free next time. Leeches have been added to our draw pile. And thus our hand. If it remains in your... if it. If it remains in hand, a random hero suffers two damage at the end of your turn. That is certainly annoying. Wait. Oh my god. Getting hit by Blight removes all my shield because it counted as me taking damage. That is so annoying. I'm so glad we get to kill you this turn, because that would have been really frustrating. That was definitely a, a, a much more unique, different strategy than the last fight we just fought, too. Uh, remove the latest debuff, Slick. Uh, plus up to all heroes. That sounds kind of nice. A, a card that could end up being free that we can also move around sounds really nice. If if uh, we have a couple, like if even if half of our cards have slick, it's almost not really, but it's almost like all of our cards have slick. You know what I'm saying? Because we can just move everything around them. Deal corruption amount of damage. Currently zero. Transfer all corruption to the priest. I'm gonna take cleanse because again, I think slick is an important thing. Combat start. Gain a plague mask. Prevents a blight effect. It's a cloth. Oh, and then it's a cloth helmet. I don't think we have that yet. Show me an elite. Hey there, mister. 12 damage, 16 damage, vulnerable. 10 damage in a daze. When target changes, gain a permanent strength. Oh. God, this game went for... I, okay, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Quite rude and incredibly kind in the exact same sentence. 
This game went from being a game that I never thought about ever again because it just wasn't doing anything exceptionally interesting to being one of the freshest roguelike deck builder experiences I've had this year. That's this is this is the biggest change in my opinion of a roguelike because of one update probably ever. Like the the amount of my opinion has changed is is, is colossal. Uh, okay, so what do we do here? So we have the slick. We could mess with that. We could move it to the side. Move it off to the side. I do. I would like to get fireball. Do we keep the buffs from like last combat? Oh wait, when we upgraded it, did it? Does it start combat with one one upgrade in it because we upgraded the card? It, had, it already starts boosted by one. That's kind of cool. I'll tell you what. I do want to buff up. What do I want to buff up? Shield tax would make us draw a card. That could be bad, though. I'm just going to do it. I don't need to shield you because I'm not going to end up even doing that. God, Blight Zone. What do we want to move to the side? I probably want to move Spirit Husk to the side at this point because I would like, I would like Fireball to get the buff now. I think. Or can I? Do I want to buff up Slash? Maybe I want to buff up Slash by doing this. Oh shoot! We got another scale. I do want some shielding on because of the uh, the blight zone passive, which, again, I think is just because the area. Uh, Fifteen and days. So he gets a permanent strength when we when he switches targets. This buff is permanent, but the strength isn't. Theoretically, so that's kind of cute. That's a cute idea. Apply a week. We might be able to do something with that. Can I just buff you up like crazy? You know, I'm going to buff you up like crazy and take this first hit. I'm going to take this first hit. I don't really want to exhaust that. It's an awkward spot. Kind of want to keep that. Oh, this is all. Oh, this is all awkward. Oh, this is all awkward. Yeah, I'm gonna take the six damage willingly, which is a little bit silly, maybe, because we need to manage when we're gonna be swapping targets, and I'm gonna swap targets now, instead, because he gets that permanent buff up there. Wait. Could <laughs> wait. <laughs> we couldn't possibly just swap back and forth and then spell steal, right? Like that doesn't that doesn't actually work, right? That that couldn't possibly be that like it couldn't work like that. I refuse to believe. Um Okay, so we got 13 damage coming in. Why is it buffed up? Because of strength. I like the slash. Okay. I like the heal. Oops. Hold on. Scale. Do we attack? Do we, I, like, if I try and juggle I feel like I'm just gonna get destroyed you know I feel like it's just gonna it's gonna mess me up uh okay go for the slash and then we go for this scale and we go for the defend that's a lot of buffs we have 72 rage all of a sudden we're gonna be taking four damage unless we get blighted this turn too no okay Spirit Husk. Can't get boosted anymore. 
Oh, you 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 got to choose that you're swapping targets there, huh? Uh, yeah, we can't have that. It's a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Shall I? I kind of want to know. I kind of want to pull the target over, but... Do I steal two or do I steal one? I'm going to be sad if I steal two. Oh, I could have cheesed it so bad. I could have cheesed it so much. Unless you can only switch targets once. Ah, oh, I could have done it. Man. Oh, well. What are you going to do? So, get a mana shield here. What do I move? We move that, because then we can go for a AoE defend into the defend here, and it gets shield tactics buffed up all the way. We block the full 16. We may take the Blight here in a sec, but it's almost like a... To an extent, it's like, what are you going to do? Remove the latest debuff on a specific character. If I buff it up twice, I could buff... I could remove it from all heroes, which I don't know if it's going to be Blight Zone or if it's going to be... Like, can I remove Blight Zone? I don't know. Either way, I think trying to remove it within an AoE is in our best interest right now. Definitely don't want to switch targets. So if I want to try to move it in an AoE... I think we go... Your debuff is going to go away. do that. We move it over here. This is already free. We slash. Great. Then we fireball ya. Who do we buff up? Probably you. Okay, that does that can block blight. I'm so happy I got that move then. Okay, so you're now vulnerable. 15 in days. I mean, I should take your I should take your attention. Even still. Okay, we got the rage, boom. Scorch, nice and free. Mana shield. So we have two mana left. If I move this here and I play this, we're going to get another free card. So we're going to do this. Gain scale to buff up you. We get slash. We're at full here. And that's a lot of damage. I'll block the whole thing. Why not? All right. Smite. I kind of want to draw a card here. Hoping to draw some kind of an attack. Okay, you are... Whew. Okay, good. We did draw an attack. Oops, hold on. Move what to the right? Uh... I don't know if I want to move anything to the right. Hey, maybe. Okay. I mean, it's fine. We, I think we kill here regardless, don't we? Yeah, we do now. We could even do it and get an extra buff up. This is so... Oh, I love this. Coin made of gold. It would be used to access an item from Dagger's private stash. Cool. When using attacks, deal two damage to all enemies. When using attacks, deal damage, two damage to all enemies. Is this a um, power? It's a buff. Okay. Deal sword damage equal to the shield gained by heroes this turn. Currently six. And then warrior gains 25 rage. That's fun. Add one scale card to your hand. I do really like that. Oh, it gets buffed up to giving more scale cards. I think we take that. It's just cool. 20 block. I just haven't, haven't used any of my potions. Combat start, gain another plague mask. 
So I need to, like, put that on my heroes, eh? That's what you're telling me? It, I, for, I completely forgot that this game had an entire extra layer of interaction here. So can we... Do we have to... I don't think we have to equip these. Staff, two health. So yeah, they can just get other extra passives, everything like that. Choose a trinket. Every time you discard a card, draw a card. Scorch cards gain additional damage for every buff on the wizard. Neither of these are, like, extremely up the alley of my build that I have. That, I have a way to access it. All right. Well, 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 well. That is that, though. And that is going to do it here uh, for today. It looks like, yeah, we go down and this is, like, we choose what boss we end up going for. Yeah, this has been um, Deepest Chamber, specifically Resurrection. Uh, I I extremely recommend it. Yeah, this is so good now. This is so, 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 so good. Uh, you can pick the game up with the link at the top of the description. I, I'm extremely impressed. I, I may have to find some way to uh, justify playing more on the channel here. If you guys are interested, do let me know. I, yeah. I'm so pleased. I'm so, so pleased. What an impressive feat to turn around a game uh, in such a 180 through, like, one major update. Extremely, extremely impressive. Deserves all of the merit in the world. Uh, yeah. Deepest Chamber. Check it out now. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. If you want to see more things in this kind of genre, if you want to see somebody who's going to be going into every game with an open mind, checking out new stuff, rechecking out old stuff that gets major updates like this, letting you know what to check out every single day in the roguelike genre, especially roguelike deck builder and dungeon crawly style genres, this is a wonderful channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.